Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 63, recorded on August 9th, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. I'm Agent Zelly Belly. Agent Dewey J in the center square. And tonight we're going to be talking about bands and people getting banned. We even have someone who was banned who can tell us about it firsthand. And we'll talk about the double AP event and Go Rug, Vanguard programs, level eight day. It's just an epically packed field episode of Ingress. It is. So thanks for tuning in tonight. You're welcome. And you're here. <laughs> Agent Zelly Belly, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah. Glad you're back. Thanks. Who's this new guy? <laughs> He's, he, he scraped so so low the barrel that he got to blue. It's our token <laughs> resistance agent. Yeah, so, I'm the token. I think it's good. We need a <laughs> need some neutrality, you know, like some something to balance us out. Oh, I'm not neutral. <laughs> I am well, far I mean, from neutral. A voice from the other side. Okay. All right. Keep things even. Yeah. <laughs> That's why there's two of us and one of you. <laughs> You're trying to beat OPSEC out of me. So tell us stuff. Tell us stuff. Well, if we can find one more uh, resistance player that wants to talk on the show, then we can have a four square. Yeah, yeah. Then eventually we'll just get nine and do like the Brady Bunch windows. <laughs> and oh, yeah, the whole like the whole show will just be us saying like our five minute update, and that'll be Ed. Thanks for joining. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's too many people. <laughs> too We're many. Up, 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 up. Everybody interrupting each other. But that's a good part of the show. Everybody loves that. Oh, that's true. But, so what have you been doing, Zelly Belly? Me? Yeah, you get uh, to go first. I've had a busy time of uh, hacking. <laughs> <laughs> I've... I like you might. had a cold or something? Uh, yeah. No, I, I might. I might. I'm really, really bad about hacking daily. I'm just awful at it. Like, I love Sundays in my pajamas. Like, I I just love not leaving the house, like, so much. <laughs> and, I, and I know I've talked before on, on the show about how close a portal is to my house. So it's ridiculous. But that's how much I love pajama day (laughs) (laughs) and it is amazing but tomorrow i might get my gold sojourner like i'm at at 59 right now uh so it's entirely possible that i'll remember to go and hack tomorrow um it took some effort one night it was like almost midnight and i had to walk out to a portal (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and another time it was like I was in my pajamas in the morning going out there <laughs> um, but yeah I've made an effort and I, I might but the other problem is I'm I'm like over full of gear so uh, I have to delete <laughs> stuff so that I can hack tomorrow to get it so that's a problem no and, gear hack uh, yeah. yeah don't, be, don't I, hand it out to other people yeah oh <laughs> Make sure it's good before you hand it out. I always give my stuff away if I can, but I'm always it's always stuff like I've been I do the glyph hacking a lot, so I'll get like too much of stuff I don't need. Like oh, I could give away probably 200 um level 7 resonators right now cuz like after that after the event of double 8s and double 7s, there were, you know, P8s and P7s everywhere. So it's like yeah. well, I have a lot of this and I can't <laughs> fully deploy anything because I don't have four. <laughs> right. I can get four things. Yeah. <laughs> well, now two. But... You can start selling anomaly packs. Just put sevens and eights and you'll advertise. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need that account. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Just like drop them around town. Just like, I don't need these. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody needs to combomb Zelly Belly tomorrow and 
tell her to go out there and hack. I will. At about, about 12.02 a.m. I will. <laughs> I'm, I might. Um, but I ran out of portal nominations. I'm not really good about submitting a lot of portal nominations, but I actually ran out. What? Um, I got my little thing that popped up that said, you were out of nominations. I was like, whoa. So did you go try it in Redacted to see if you could double up on your submissions? Absolutely not. Oh, wait. I hate Redacted so much. But good. I'm but it'd person. be a good. It'd be a good I'm test. I'm the only person. <laughs> go submit. You're killing me. Go submit a picture in your house just as a test. It will no, kill it your soul you to do even, it. But oh, and re- I, I would have to download it again, which I refuse. Right. Oh. I'm not well, like I. Yeah. It's, oh, well. it's not even on my phone. I don't have it. Oh. No wonder. Oh, well. Done with it. <laughs> oh well, would have been a anyway, good that, test. Ha- Brent, what did you do? Since yeah, the last show, you do. What you been? Yeah, what have you been doing, buddy? I uh, did some double AP playing, so like I've been getting up, you know, a couple hours early before work. Cause I haven't really had time after work, so I've just been getting up early to go. It seems like a easier time to do. Like I can just fool myself, and well, normally no one expects you to really be awake and out doing something anyway. Uh, so just go do that. So. That was fun because I feel like I've been getting behind on my my goal of of getting to sixteen, but now I'm down to two million. So yeah, I hate you mm-hmm. so much. Why? I've You're catching like, up. I've got like fifteen million to go. I but I I mean I've been playing for five years now or something stupid. You've been that playing what stupid. two years, Zelly? Yeah. <laughs> You're killing it. Yeah. Uh, September, it'll be two years. It's Got not it. even two years. Yeah, September, oh. ugh, I have the date written down somewhere. I think I've been playing for four years, and I'm like 250K from 15. So. <sighs> See, and you're going to, uh, you know, out-level me after we recurse. I'm recursing so fast. I'm going to oh, pass So you. I'll... Go blue. Go blue. No. Oh, blue. <laughs> So should I try to wait to recurse until you're ready and we'll recurse at the same time? On I don't air need your pity for a show. <laughs> I was gonna say on the show we could recurse at the same time. Oh, that would be kind of fun. You Are could, you gonna go blue? You would smoke me though. Am I gonna go blue? Hell no. If, if you two go blue, I'll go green. Ah, uh, it's not the worth it. The funny thing is too, like, uh, uh, the I'll university I where I work, it's like green is their color. It's also the university where I got my degree and everything. So. That's one reason for going green. Two is because Brent told me to. Three, <laughs> I actually had a pet frog for like five years. <laughs> I love frogs. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably not going to go blue. <laughs> yeah. It's strange I, you mentioned it. My university colors, blue. Yeah, see? So. Everyone always has like some tie. <laughs> Just something their in their subconscious that made them I choose. this yeah. color or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think I went green because of friends originally, and and now it's just like that's why I would stay green and wouldn't even think about going blue. I mean, I've just yeah. seen, you know, a few people that I've known that half switch because of even because like their their girlfriend or boyfriend was resistance. Yeah. Like it, it almost screws both of them because it's like. The community doesn't trust either one now because they think one's just going to flip back and they're yeah. just getting stuff and now yeah. the other one and it's just like it, it sucks in a way yeah. because it's like um, I, I don't know. We had a local had, re- oh, we had a local ahead. res agent that did that that flipped to uh, to green for his girlfriend and it was like a month and a half later she, she dropped him. He's like, "Oh, I am so screwed now." That's yeah. awful. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think back when you had to like lose everything mm-hmm. to yeah. flip, it made a difference cuz we have uh, a couple of people that are some of the uh, you know, I won't say the best agents that we have but they're like the some of the top agents we have flipped and way back when and it meant something because it's like, well, you, you're stuck with us now. Like it's you can't just go back anytime you want. And now when some people can actually recurse every six months or three months yeah it, it doesn't really mean anything if you flip we've got but. a couple of people on their third recurse yeah so it's like yeah 
<laughs> so. Don't have a life other than ingress, I guess. Oh, they do, though. That's the thing. Oh. Like, yeah. They're, I don't know, motivated individuals. <laughs> 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 but just, just run an AP generator all the time. Yeah. But we've had some um, blues turn green. Mm-hmm. And we've had the one... I, I'm not aware of a lot of them. I'm not like... I'm not like I'm casual in our community, so like, I know some some names and stuff, but not like a lot. But the ones that I know of were welcomed with open arms and like mm-hmm. really supported. That I'm aware of. I'm not gonna say it 100 percent because I'm sure people will be like, "That's not true." What about blonde? I'm like, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> 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 so, but the ones I know of, like, I was surprised. Like, people were very welcoming and supportive, and I thought that's perfect. That's what what you should do because. Yeah. The, it's not very common that you get an influx of new players yeah. in Ingress. So if you can welcome anyone to, to your community <laughs> to help you. We had um, a, a res agent that uh, uh, I think it was a month ago, two months ago, first Saturday, he flipped from blue to green. But the thing is, he's in a wheelchair. So he really relies upon the community. Yeah, you know, I was like, wow. I mean, that's that's really putting it out there for your community to help you out. And he hasn't had a problem with it, you know, other than us trying to kill him, but, you know. <laughs> Just because he's in a wheelchair? That's horrible. Yeah, that's what it is, a wheelchair. <laughs> so, that was, that was a good conversation. So, besides killing people in wheelchairs, <laughs> what did you do this week? <laughs> God, if I had a week. <laughs> so, I'm blaming it on the show, I guess. Uh, it was, I was... The next morning after the last show, I get an email. Your account has been terminated. I'm like, I would what? Die. what? And so I'm trying to figure out what did I do wrong? What did I rewrite? You know, what have I done? Uh, just, you know, just going nuts. And of course, I just have a week that I don't have anything to do. And now I can't play Ingress. Um, so I, you know, kind of followed the stuff and went through and read the information. They said, put in a an appeal and I put in the appeal and explain what I kind of thought it might have been um, still don't know what it is uh, although we'll t- say later what what they had the bands for and what they took them out um, in my case the only thing I could think is that I'm an idiot um, when Prime first came out you know that it had all these issues with creating agents and things like that and sometimes it would create an agent and make them blue or it would start up and it wouldn't give you a choice as to which account you wanted to use. And that's what happened to me. Well, my work email was the first one alphabetically. So it grabbed that. I was trying to, no, I don't want that. I want my regular one. But it grabbed that. So I went all the way through it and uh, I had this work account. I'm like, well, I'm not going to play this. So I just, you know, turned off Prime. A couple weeks later, came back to Prime. It's like, hey, I can pick the other account. You know? And so I started playing with Prime a little bit. So I have this account, zero AP, that I never use and didn't think about. Getting ready for the anomaly, I'm farming, you know, and getting to the point that stuff's full. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to put some stuff in a cap, drop it on the ground. That way I can get to my maximum, you know, get rid of all the crap I don't want, and then pick the cap back up. Well, Prime bombed out, and I'm in a hurry. So I bring it back up and pink, 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 pick up the cap, go down the road. Five minutes later, I look at it, I'm like, oh, crap. I pick that up with my work account. So what do I do? Well, I don't want to drop it and pick it up with the other one because it'll look like I'm backpacking. So I just let it set. And I, I don't know if that's what tripped the band hammer or not. But uh, so it uh, yesterday morning, Thursday, four oh four fifty in the morning, some guy from Botticelli sent me an email and said, congratulations, you get to play again. So I was one of the few that didn't get the band hammer but i don't know if i was in that that sweep of bands that they did or if it was just something else but i i guess i'm gonna work for clean ingress for a while just you know do my penance <laughs> well and uh did you went to the last anomaly right yeah yeah and did i mean a lot of times people are farming and, and passing gear like mm-hmm. do you think maybe you got some gear that was it, it might have been but the thing is or? yeah I had a little bit of gear. I had a couple of viruses that I got from a local guy. The stuff that I had in the cap that I dropped was what I got from somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. so so I, when I picked that back up, I'm like, well, if they were bad and dirty gear, they would have got 
that other account. Yeah, it's probably yeah. But I might have got some dirty gear from, you know, like I said, I was begging a lot of people. They're like, oh yeah, here have a couple of viruses and have a couple of ultra strikes. So I didn't keep track of it. You know, the the whole thing, the one thing that I think that they could do to hopefully hopefully make us a little bit better. And I know that they don't have the time to say, here's what you did and here's why we did it and all this other stuff. But it's got to have a timestamp. And if you could at least have a timestamp when that auto ban happens, then you can go back and say, okay, what was I doing at that time? Yeah. And maybe you have a clue as to you know what it is. Well, I, I think this is a big topic. Let's go ahead and move into uh, the next segment and go ahead and just talk about it. Situation report. So, uh, kind of what what Dewey J was talking about is the wave of bands that happened this week. I'm sure you're probably aware of it. If not, just go uh, talk to your computer or look anywhere. <laughs> there is a thought to be a bunch of false positives from what uh, the community or what um, I wanted to say community manager, but I think this actually came from Brian, but their Twitter anyway. They, they say that 8,000 accounts were banned and, and 99 Point six percent of them were upheld, upheld. which means th- thirty-two accounts. One of the thirty-two were unbanned. So now take that from how many people actually submitted yeah. uh, requests to be unbanned out of that eight thousand. Much lower number. Maybe there will be more if you were banned and unrightly so. Go submit it, and we'll link to all this in the show notes. But. I, I, like it seems like I feel like I've had more than 32 people that I've seen post that either they got banned or someone got banned and and it was unfair and it's like one of these yeah. things where it's like now you're tainted no matter what happens right like it's just everybody kind of feels tainted like I don't know I feel like there needs to be a more open process of yeah. why you were banned even if it's just one to one you and the company. Yeah, that's that's the thing that really bothered me. Is, is like, what did I do wrong? And, and when you get the letter back that says that you're not terminated, it basically says, don't do it again. You're like, oh, I, I don't know what I did. Right. Um, that's so hard because, like, communities share gear so much. That's yeah. part of the community building. That's, like, why you get involved in the your yeah, local community. Because you need support. Um and it makes you double think picking up gear from anyone now. And yeah. especially if you're going to an, an anomaly no, or an event yeah. or something, you're going to ask for gear and people are willing to give it to you to help out. Mm-hmm. It, oh, It's so, I don't know. It's and, and I don't know if my band was part of that auto band that, that went off and got a bunch of people or if it just happened to be something else. or It's, you know, it's just kind of weird. But uh, the one thing that kind of gave me some hope a little bit along the way is like a day or so afterwards I get this uh, email that says you have a portal that's being attacked I'm like okay I can't do anything about it but I'm, I'm kept getting these messages and I got a message I think one of them was asking us how did we do in uh, Madison I was nice <laughs> even though I was banned I filled it out nice and oh, wow. you know so I, I got a, I think the last message I got was uh, Wednesday afternoon I got another message that it was I think it was uh, the vanguards or something, but you know I was still getting those this, messages through email. So I'm like, right. okay, my account isn't terminated. Um, it's not deleted, so, but not deleted. Yeah, so I, I don't know whether they maybe they, they didn't take you off their mailing list. Is what it means. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Um, Which is yeah, kind think, of funny if you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I think if they came out and they said, you know, your your account is suspended. Uh, pending termination then people might be oh, okay I kind of understand what's going on and and you know make it a little easier I, I don't know but here terminations like oh you're done yeah well and it's so hard I mean it's directly after an anomaly when mm-hmm. I mean I know when I go to an anomaly anyone I know that that isn't going if they have extra gear they'll usually like pass it off so I can take it up there and give it to someone else if I have enough gear. So, and so gear, I mean, just cycles through the community oh, yeah. in an anomaly. And I don't see how you can then go ban anyone for any of that. Cause no one has any clue at that point. Like no and if, one. And if they have a way of you know, the determining that this is dirty, dirty gear, 
why not put like a scanner or something or something in in the scanner so that when somebody tries to give it to you, it goes, oh, this is bad. Or just delete it. Just yeah. have some sort of sweep every 24 hours that deletes all that gear. Yeah. Which yeah, that would make more sense. They're going to, to be doing for the they higher said that, level. Yeah. Like, because to me, that's like that way you don't really screw anyone if they know that's dirty gear. Yeah. I, I don't know how that could be a false positive if they somehow get the account that bought that gear or whatever. If they know that, and if it deletes it, I mean, it's just like, oh well, I somehow got dirty gear. It mm-hmm. sucks that it got deleted, but it shouldn't have been there in the first place. So no one can really be upset or shouldn't be upset about it. Yeah. And the hard part, too, is you have people, you know, who say they're wrongfully accused. But then there's that part of you that wonders, yeah. like, they're, like you said, they're tainted. You're like, are you innocent? <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, let's be honest. But- there are some people who flatly are lying about it anyway. They're like, oh, crap, I shouldn't have bought that gear <laughs> off yeah. eBay or something, and they got caught, and they're not going to admit it. No. I, 99%. I, 7%. But, yeah. Well, yeah, Brent, like, we play MMOs, and we see that a lot where people will claim that they got banned for no reason, and then it comes out later. Like, it's like, well, you know, I used an x-ray once. It's like, okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I'm not saying that these people did that. I'm just saying I've I've been a part of gaming communities where that's happened, that happened. And, and yeah and someone finally admits something and, and it that also taints the people who mm-hmm. really are like no I got caught up in the system and yeah. I'm innocent and I feel yeah. bad for those people well I just want to point out that somebody of the three here had the idea of you know start a new account buy some gear drop it on the ground for the other side to pick up I don't I don't want to point to any oh no person. that was I, I was going to talk about that. Why are you... Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> no. He's got me backwards. <laughs> my point was that someone could do that. Like, yeah, it, they could. With this I mean, kind of way, right before an anomaly, go buy a crap ton of gear, and yeah. then go to the opposing factions hotel and just mean. litter yeah, the ground with that, that gear. And just drop the capsules, because people will see them capsules, and they pick will them pick up. them up. They'll pass the gear around, and you will get so many people banned. Yeah. And just use an account, a new account, a brand Go new account. account. It does not matter. Yep. And you won't get caught. That's evil. I, but I, I, I feel like it should be done. I, <laughs> like, to me, get the resist only, person in me goes, I don't like how this is being handled. And I think only until... Only people think like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I will have to read you got to think like yeah. robbers, you know? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. But, you know, that does bring one other thing that, that, uh, that I might have been able to make better for myself if you have an old account that's hanging around on your phone get rid of it because that's i think that was kind of the mistake i made you know i'd had that account what how long has prime been out six months eight months something like that no while and and that that account was just sitting there so doing anything so did you figure out how to get it deleted you know yeah there's a process you go in and you have to send them fill out a form and send them a thing and then they come back and say, okay, we want to make sure that you want to get rid of this. Send us an email back so it comes back to that email, and you have to put the word delete in. And then you send it to them. And then, like, well, in my case, it was five days, but it was over a weekend. So it might be, you know, four or five days, and then they will delete that account. Okay. I think that's a good point. Like, if you have uh, an extra account, I think a lot of people probably do from when they uh started off with the the certain emails either work or or school or things like that and then weren't able to change and things like that but they may not be able to access it now yeah. I, I don't know yeah. but um, i think the big danger is if you can access it get yeah. rid of it yeah yeah that's a good point yeah cool. chat chat is calling me the pj hacker What's the PJ? Oh, because you're a PJ. Because I went out in my PJ. <laughs> <laughs> I walked too. <laughs> I didn't even drop. That's funny. The PJ uh, hack walker. I have old mom PJs. It's nothing <laughs> amazing. <laughs> People are like rolling up the windows when they're going by, so the tent will keep from oh, seeing you. There's a homeless woman. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got a phone. <laughs> she's got. Well, everybody does. <laughs> well, that's true. 
That is true. Okay. Uh, so, wave of bands, false positives. If you're one of them, go submit a report, get your account back, and hopefully um, everyone who was was not cheating gets their account back. I'm glad you got your account back. I'm also glad you got banned, so now we can talk about the one resistance person <laughs> on the show was banned. The one great. innocent person. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of it this way. Play this. There were 8,000 people, and they let me go. All right. right. Yeah. <laughs> How good do you have to be? Uh, oh, it's good. That's a really small percentage of correction. Because I also, to kind of piggyback off the conversation okay. earlier, I have seen where MMOs have gone, like, overboard and used some sort mm-hmm. of, like, automated hacking, you know, algorithm, and then they've had to roll back a ton of them because they're like, yeah. oops, we just ticked off a lot yeah. of good, innocent customers. I was kind yeah. of thinking and, that's what was going to happen this week because at the beginning of the week they said, we're going to have an announcement sometime this week. And you didn't hear it, you didn't hear mm-hmm. it, you didn't hear it. And it came out today. So I think yeah. they finally reviewed all the ones, you this, know. This is the last time they do something like this when Andrew's on vacation. <laughs> it's like Brian's <laughs> like, Somebody else really? Write this. <laughs> really, I just came back, guys, and y'all are going to start pulling this on me? Like, couldn't we have waited? Because that was the other thing is, so they announced the three strike rule that they were going to institute. Well, that hasn't been yeah. instituted yet, so that's why okay. people um, didn't get three warnings. And they also said that this offense would not um, actually get a warning anyway. I that you would go st- that. straight yeah. to uh, strike if three. It's a legit, yeah. you know, circumstance. Yeah. Now, have you guys had like? gear sellers show up in your comms i haven't a long time ago like, long time ago when Lo- i first started ingress like not last september but the sent- september before like that mm-hmm. fall every once in a while you'd get one kind of with a weird name yeah. like an agent and like numbers or something and yeah. it would pop in with a website but i haven't seen that i haven't seen it in a long time like me yeah. it, it, it was only for the first couple of months and like i have not seen it since yeah. I remember when I first started, it was like every other com message was buy, buy, buy. Yeah. So yeah. they've done a good job of killing that. Well, yeah. I, and I don't really even like. Okay, so I don't even get how it would work. Like, so you buy something, they would have to spoof themselves to your location, drop off capsules of gear, and you pick it up. How are you not going to get caught? Like, yeah, I don't get why anybody would do that. Just because I guess they would get an account that was new. Pick and it up. pick it up, they just, but they just, eventually they're going to give it to themselves. Yeah, I'm, a I lot of you. I am not incriminating myself here. I'm not explaining that this is how it's done. But <laughs> what I would see is that they would get the gear, they would spoof to your location, drop yeah. it, and then disappear. Yeah, but right. then you're but picking you're the up all this pick gear. It up, yeah, you're probably yeah. the buyer. Yeah, yeah. I yes. the only way I can figure it would work. So spoof it to the opposite faction's hotel at the next <laughs> anomaly instead. Make that your so, pickup spot. If you know, like, an enemy's, like, couch portal. Yeah. Like, so- <laughs> Surrounding <it. laughs> All of a sudden, they're getting caps full of, like... Every day. <laughs> it's a new cap Venus of ages. And, and <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Level 8 bursters. <laughs> oh, man. Because I, I do think there is a better way. I'll just say that. Yeah. That's, expen- that's an expensive way to try to get somebody banned. Right. <laughs> You got to spread out the gear, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so where were we? Uh, Bands. Field test. <laughs> field test. That's next. Field test. We're at point two. <laughs> <laughs> right. By the way. Point two of the news. Yeah, yeah we're on two. Oh uh, well, that, point one was a big one. So it was huge. It was a uh, this one is a new event that's going to be. I think kind of like a mix of like Mission Day and First Saturday's community run. Sounds like possibly some sort of mini anomaly thing. Yeah. About if 30, 45 minutes, I think, if you look at the... The, the application? Yeah. Yeah, the application says that uh, somewhere between 60 and 180 minutes. Hmm. And they said applications for the 914 field test needs to be received by August 12th. And I thought it said somewhere that that was only going to be like 30 minutes or something. Yeah. Comfortably gather for up to 30 minutes. So, are you willing to drive down here on that day? Okay. Because I already put your name in there as the resistance. Oh, Jesus. No, I I'll didn't. Just, I didn't really. I didn't really. I'll just spoof it in. 
<laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't say that. It's like uh, Global Plus Plus doesn't even work anymore. How's that happening? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I, I, but I don't see anything that says what it is they're actually doing. Have you seen anything along those lines? I have not. So that's that's all I get is that it's it's some sort of um, thing where they both factions need to be there, and it's going to be some sort of measurements and stuff, which makes mm -hmm. it sound to me anomaly kind of thing. You know, yeah, now that you mention that, maybe that's how they're going to test anomaly events. New functionality. You know, new, yeah. We're going to do a new anomaly event. Let's try it out and field test it. That's a great see, idea. See how it works. And when is this one? Right before the next uh, anomaly? Uh, looks like 914. And the next anomaly is... Yeah, I don't know. In... Uh, October, right? Yeah. So that might yeah. that might be it. So they may be testing new functionality for the next anomaly. Wow. So keep an eye on what it is, and yeah. you'll know maybe part of the next yeah. anomaly stuff. Wow, they're actually testing something before they put it into practice. That's that's new for them. Yeah. Just throw it out there. Just throw it out there. Release uh, Prime. Oh, it's not ready. Oh, release it anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I cool. love Prime, but man. It was rough to start. They should have, like, if they could have launched it with how it is now, oh, yeah. I think people would have embraced it. But now you have people who hate it, and they're never going back. <laughs> like I said, there was a couple of agents that said, you know, when they kill Redacted, I quit. And these yeah. are level 16 agents. Yeah. So, haters will hate. Yeah. I hear that too. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I've heard, uh, you know, I I, I, a few I locals that were like that. And they've started using Prime a little bit more. I keep harping on them to like just, I'm telling you, drop Redacted for a month. Give it a month without touching it. And I feel like you'll be in a much better place because Redacted yeah. will be gone at that point anyway. So, Yeah, and, and like she said, it's it's a lot better. I mean, you can now see where portals are at and, and the play is, is a lot smoother and... It's usable. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the big thing that, that I'm hearing is the opening. Like, if they can't get that opening down somehow, mm -hmm. like, people are going to bitch forever about it just because it's the first thing they see when they open it, and then they're going to go back to Redacted. Okay. I have a tip. Yes. I start. get in my car. Before I even start my car, before I do anything, I start <laughs> 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 then I put it, I plug it in, then I start my car, and then I pick the song, and I put my stuff down, and then I back out, and I drive to the first portal, and then it's it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if and that's then just, uh, Even if you're on the freeway, really. even if you're on the freeway, leave it on. You don't want to... You don't want to mess with that. Just leave it off. <laughs> so I say, why are you closing ingress anyway? How? Yeah, exactly. If you're in the car, if you're have it on. Just don't even shut it down. It's fine. Uh, but but I think she kind of mentioned last time, a couple times ago, the one thing that is still there, it's still a pain in the butt, is when you do something and that box opens right in the middle of the screen, and then you're like, oh, i got to click to get around that box. Yeah. That needs to go away. Yeah. Yeah. That would be nice. Even the damage box, like the tele I was like, I don't yeah. give it go away. I'm trying to damage stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm busy. Get away from me, kid. You are right in the wrong place. That's right. So field test, yeah. submissions. If you want to do one, go sign up. And if you want to sign another or fill out another form, you can go look at a Go Rock form. They're planning on more events uh, next year, a lot of international things, but they want your opinion on how they did and, and what they need to do in the future. So we'll link to that form as well. And if you want in another form, <laughs> go sign up to be one of the vanguards. And if you signed up in the past, well, go edit your form instead of fill out a new one because it's still there. Which, so what do you think my chances are? Uh, I don't know. I Van don't know. Guy, Vanguard, you know. Oh, yeah. That, that might be... <laughs> I don't know. If you look at, at some of the vanguards they have uh, in the past, might be in pretty good company there. So, got to have a crook to know how the crooks think. <laughs> but it's um, I'm not a crook. like I, I filled one out the first time, and then it's like I didn't even know how stupid I was for filling it out <laughs> the first time until like 
you know now and I'm like yeah why did I even try yeah. uh, well they're, it, they're going from what 24 to 36 so they're increasing the number yeah uh, and they're also retiring a, a number out so I mean you could be looking at 20 maybe new, yeah. new vanguards and now so, they've banned 8,000 people like I mean that cuts the chances odds are better more <laughs> imagine if they're like yeah we need new vanguard <laughs> <laughs> we banned half of them <laughs> yeah you're right that happened about the same time you might know there. <laughs> you're looking at the list going let's oh, talk to our vanguards about oh no. <laughs> <laughs> more vanguards I'm I apologize to all the vanguards out there. I am totally joking I do not mean to besmirch your good reputations I'm totally joking <laughs> good save <laughs> yeah, they don't listen to the show anyway. They hate us. It's, nah, yeah, no. bunch of cashes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I just had a thought. What if there was a a factional tribunal made up of like five agents from each, or maybe it's the vanguards? And when someone gets banned, they go bet- before the vanguards. And plead their case. And plead their case. And, and that if would the be the best podcast. Go to a tie, <laughs> oh. then it goes to Andrew. Wow. Oh, a uh, public yeah. trial. We'll do it. Public trial. It'll be a podcast. Public yeah. podcast. That poor person, because you know how some people take things too far? Uh, like, oh, playing with locals that take things too far is not good <laughs> if you're going to go on a public trial of fire. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, I have a frog stuck to my car still from one frog that I covered over. He didn't take it well. But I'm leaving it there, so it's it's a dig every time I go through I the would, I, it's I great. Do not. I would not be tolerant of someone messing with my property. I would take that personally. <laughs> like a frog yeah. player? Yeah. Yeah, I was a frog player. Stuck to your put, car? Put a frog on my on my window. I don't think that's okay. I, I know him personally, so it's not that I bad. Oh, I would be furious. Yeah. But yeah, I guess it depends on your personal relationship. Yeah. He's, he's done worse. <laughs> <laughs> he ran over a Smurf. <laughs> oh my God, Gar- Gargamel. Okay, well, so Vanguards, there you go. Level eight day. <laughs> it's ending soon. Sometime soon. Might have already ended. No, it uh, didn't. It did. I went out and hacked just before the show, so I got okay. two sixty-three or something. I'm yeah. thinking it's seven o'clock tomorrow night. I well, thought it was Central. yeah tonight, but I guess it's tomorrow. Well, it's the tenth, right? Which is tomorrow. Oh, okay. I thought it was Friday for some reason. It, it is so. Friday. No, I mean I thought it ended on Friday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're both right. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so that darn UTC, you know, it's that darn time that they use. That Maybe. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll say uh, tomorrow at at yeah. seven. Just keep hacking until it stops. Yeah. So uh, we'll see y'all later in the podcast. I gotta go. Double AP. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have not taken advantage of that at all. I've done my one hack, and that's about it. I oh, haven't either. But then again, I didn't have an account till oh, yeah. Yeah. The morning. So well, and the, like Sojourner, like how many people were close to like Ooh. getting that and <gasps> losing it? Yeah. Just so many people who had like those long, long hacking streaks that went beyond on it. You know, like some people take pride in that. Yeah, that they're double or triple beyond Onyx. And... Well, so do y'all think they should give them back those numbers if they unban them? Hmm. I mean, it's like being thrown in jail for ten years and getting out because you're innocent, and then they're like, "Oh, well, don't commit any more crimes." You're like, "But no, <laughs> I, I, didn't I, I get out. All that <laughs> part of my life is gone." <laughs> so I'm gonna sue you now. So, but I did have to go through a little extra pain because when I got it back, it's like there's. There is no uh, badge for the anomaly and no badge for mission days. So I had to go back to my contact and thank God I kept everything and say, uh, I was kind of in jail, but can you push that through so you can get my badges? Oh, man. And so, oh, wow. Yeah. And of course, I'll, I know I'm going to have to wait because they're going to go through all the ones that they've done and all the offsite ones. And then they're going to get into the errors, which I would be. And then so I'll probably see it in a couple weeks. Yeah, it's like they kind of shot themselves in the foot with this one a little bit, like timing-wise, because there are a lot of badges floating out there from different events that it's like, I guess I maybe... All, there you, might always be. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I did see one agent that got the ban just at the beginning of the anomaly. Now, I don't know if it was related to that, but it was it was like, oh, that would really suck, you know, 
getting up to Madison, getting in the hotel. It travel, was like the mo- yeah, yeah, travel all that in the morning of. It's like, oh, sorry, you're banned. Yeah. That's- all your stuff, too, that you took. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> guys. That's the guy who has all of our ADAs. <laughs> that's that's probably why. Been. That's probably why we ADAs. lost in Madison. That one guy. Right. <laughs> he has all of them. He had everything. <laughs> all two thousand capacity was just ADAs. <laughs> but we can't. I, I'm surprised they didn't blame this on I don't Nemesis. Know why I'm ADAs, but whatever. <laughs> like, should they've just blamed it on Nemesis? Yeah. Move on. Move on to, yeah, it's Nemesis. And I think Nemesis uh, may have been at work uh, a couple of days ago. Prime went offline. I don't yeah, know yeah. Talking. Went offline for like, what, 20 minutes? I heard it did. I was yeah. at work. I didn't feel I, it. I saw the tweets, but yeah. Yeah. I did I did not fe- feel it either. So I figured, what was it? People couldn't log into it? Uh, I think they got a message out saying Prime's going down for maintenance or something. And then it was like 20 minutes later. I said, okay, go again. So hmm. you know, maybe they were turning off the anti-cheat stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe. Oh right, maybe. Flip that switch. Flip the switch <laughs> off. That's causing problems. Yeah, yeah. If they put something in that automatically bans people, not just checks and puts data somewhere. Yeah. I could see them turn that off. Yeah. It could. It could be Aurora too. So we'll we'll come to Aurora. Well, let's talk know. about Aurora. Okay. So, right. it's a new event, possibly kind of like the Myriad. Uh, unique hack challenge mm-hmm. but this one is what is it um for the best i can figure it's going to be based on glyph hacks so it's if you and, and this is all speculation so i could be wrong but if you glyph hack a designated portal you get a point if you come back and glyph hack it again you get more points and you have to do a perfect glyph which i'm not going to get any points because i suck at glyph hacking um but it was actually on the uh, events down at the bottom of stats, and I think it even showed up in Redacted, and it showed up as Aurora Unique Glyph Hack Points. Um, so there were a couple people that were racking up a little bit of points, and then it just disappeared. Hmm. So it was there for about 2 p.m. on the 8th. Um, so people were talking about what it could be. Uh, now, was there a previous event called Aurora a long time ago? I'm not aware of it. Okay. Like, I'm in a fielding group called Aurora, but... Oh, that's probably what it is. It's you guys. I was like, hey, that's pretty awesome. But, <laughs> but people are saying it, it may be the next the next enemy uh, because there was some people that uh, got some media dropped uh, from the restock portals on first Saturday um, that had a video in it. And that video had a lot to say about... Um, uh, well, let me see what it said. Um, I'm Aurora. We are Nemesis. The glyphs are a biological interface for exogenous instructions. As such, they must be eliminated. I will see to it. Your defeat at Myriad is only a momentary setback. We are more powerful than you know. Your hubris endangers your world and many others. We will not rest until the danger that is exogenous has been quelled. This is your final warning. Don't get in our way. Sounds like a bad guy to me. I totally yeah. want to get in their way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so do I. Let's get in their way. <laughs> but I, that video is out there somewhere. I mean, you can find it. I think I'll have a link in the uh, show notes to go to it. Um, and it's another one of those freaky deaky movies uh, with the guy with the weird head. Um, but there's also some other clues in there. There's some um, playing cards, like three aces and a couple other things. So there's some playing cards they're trying to figure out. Um, some strange symbols that are repre- that kind of are a different alphabet that they kind of got it from this. Uh, so there's a lot of clues in there. So I'm thinking the next anomaly we might be fighting Aurora. Who knows? So Myriad, what like Nemesis is the enemy, but Myriad, what what was it in the last anomaly? Uh, I think that. I've got an idea that Nemesis is more than one person. Right. I feel like it's a it's a group of people. It's a group. It's, and it's we got Nemesis. rid of one yeah. and there's more to come. So Myriad was a person in Nemesis, you think? Yeah, I think it was or, one of them. Okay. I, I don't know why I want to say the number four. Could be wrong. Um uh, but 
I think they're just going to get more difficult as you go. Yeah. So we'll see. There, there's been some talk, and um, I think it was over in overseas. Um, the Aurora Glyph Challenge that they were talking about, those hack points and things like that, and they were discussing uh, what they think it is. Um, so I don't know. I, I, maybe maybe we know who the next baddie is. Maybe not. Well, we should find. Well, it's Umbra, right? Umbra's the next one. So after Umbra, sure. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> So, also this weekend, it's a glyph challenge. Yep. It's doing knowledge. That's the Spock, right? Yes. That's Star Trek. Or Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're a gearhead, it's Pontiac. It's the symbol that the Pontiac cars used to have. <laughs> That's the only way I remember it. You used to drive a Pontiac. It's knowledge. I just know I it is knowledge. Now. Everyone drives a Pontiac. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Or Ford. Yeah. Ford or GM. <laughs> I hear my dogs scratching upstairs. It's rather loud. Oh. Okay, so anybody going to do the glyph challenge? Uh, I might try it, being as I'm, I can now play. I always want to do one of these, but it always seems to be like, oh, I missed that. But it always seems yeah. like, I should, when I, when there's not one left, I'm like, I need to do that. I need to sit down, figure out my little map, and do them. And like, when they're here and live, I'm like, oh, but I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> It's it's it definitely worth ninth. it. Yeah, it runs from yeah. the ninth to the eleventh, so you got a couple days yet. Oh, that's so short. <laughs> Life is short. Just uh, yeah. well, I won't say that, but <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so I did one a few months ago, yeah. and I saw the codes. I, I we were going to give them out on the show, but I keep forgetting to. We'll do it next. Yeah, show if we I have remember. gear codes. You just totally want to take those and put that in your inventory, and don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Won't get you banned. After no. all that banned talk, let's just... Uh, it's yeah, just it's, use it's this code good. here. See, I've heard people doing that, too. They'll give someone a code for a yeah. um, um, a medal for, like, a, a person, a sensitive or, like, a person from an anomaly. And there's some people who don't want the badges unless they've been there and met them and things yeah, like yeah. that. And so someone will screw with someone by giving them a code. Hey, here's a gear code. And then all of a sudden they'll pop up and have the badge. And it's like, that's just an, like a, a dick move. That's dumb. Like, that's so just mean. dumb. Yeah. And that's uh, that's kind of a harmless prank. <laughs> I guess it's yeah. stuck in your inventory forever. I was going to say, but... it's, it's in your scanner forever. Eh, it's fine. There's <laughs> bigger things to worry about. That one, see, that doesn't bother yeah. me. Someone slapping a sticker on my car, I would be irate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet if you, I bet if you had like a row of blue agents in your scanner, you'd have a problem with it. I don't care. I don't think I'd care. I'd be like, cool. Oh, okay. I got shinies. I don't know. We'll have to talk I later. Know. I can see if I can recruit you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to. Uh, I don't know which one's which. I think he's no. Which one is he? There we go. Okay. We're good to go now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So next topic. Okay. We've got uh, Niantic partners with Leave No Trace Center for Outdoor Ethics talking about basically, usually it's kind of something you think about when you're out camping is, you know, the rule is, you know, don't leave anything there. Leave it like no one was there. And I think a lot of this is good from when Pokemon Go first came out that, mm. uh, Areas were inundated with so many people that it, yeah. people were not following that rule. People don't yeah. know the rule. A lot of people don't, and so I think this is good for Aren't them. People to ever get scouts into it. like that's the one thing you do. Yeah. <laughs> you always leave things the same as when you got there. Geocaching has a saying that you cash in and trash out. So you know, you cash into something and you just carry the trash. You go out. And uh, yeah. that that's helpful. But yeah, you're right. When when Pokemon Go started, we had problems around here with, you know, just younger kids stuff like that. And they'd show up in a cemetery. You know, well, we've got some portals and cemeteries. They'd be there for a couple hours and they'd leave, and it's just a pile of you know soda bottles and wrappers. Who looks like that? Like yeah. who does that? Oh, anyway. Pokemon Go players. That's who it is. I, oh, just people. Just not just <laughs> people. Just yeah, people playing another game. Collect, collect. 
<laughs> it's those Harry Potter pe- Potter, players. Potter people. <laughs> That's what the Pokemon Go players are saying. Uh, those Potter uh, people. Go. Uh, Harry Potter people are saying it's those Ingress people. Okay. No, actually, right. the Harry Potter people are like, what's Ingress? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, and I was thinking maybe a good way to kind of tie in with, with uh, Harry Potter is if, if when, say, there was some mods on portals in Ingress, it actually affected the portals in the other games. Like, they would give more output and stuff like that. I'm going to Soho this idea. But you wouldn't know. (laughs) And so then people would want to go play Ingress to add these items to the portal. So then Ingress players would get multi-hacks and stuff on portals for new pe- new people might end up thinking they like the game and decide to come play ingress more and but it you wouldn't notice it like in the other games it would just be like magic like harry potter so they could charge our portals for us yeah yeah mm. do stuff like that uh, uh, uh. Mm. <laughs> she's so hoing this so hard she's so so hoing it in her head we've had so <laughs> it's many like an people. ally mcbeal so hoing me We've had so many people, when we had uh, What's in the Capsule segment regularly, we had so many people offer up practically the same idea, but with Pokemon mm. Go uh, mm. portals and affecting Ingress, and or Ingress, you know, if it's a P8, then that, then maybe when you spin that portal, you get more stuff. We've had so many people yeah. submit ideas like Love that, and we're always ideas. like, no, 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 Love we always those. tell us they, why it won't work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you like it because it's your idea. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> oh, you were new to the show. I had to agree with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> So you're telling me it's going to get worse. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> it's just the start. <laughs> yeah. Well, how, how about if you had something that all three of them could work at at the same time? Can you imagine having three different... Well, let's see. You'd have... How many factions do you have in Pokemon Go? I think you're just going to encourage like, back... People, I know. You have like, flipping like, phones like 18 and... <laughs> people in there. Yeah. You're, yeah, yeah 18, no, you're going to have 18... <laughs> accounts logged in and one guy with like this <laughs> contraption of phones. <laughs> That's true. Uh, It'd be like, uh, oh, I was going to help out my Pokemon Go thing, but all my Ingress accounts got banned. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. 19 of them. Yeah, I wonder if Grandpa Pokemon got banned. That, that's probably about 8,000 right there. I don't know if you've seen that picture of that I, guy. That guy, the Grandpa, I think he's so adorable, and I hope he never gets banned. I know people probably hate me for saying that, but he's so cute. He's got all his, like, He's got oh, like thirty six phones on a. He's got thirty six phones on one bike. Yeah, if you don't know yeah. what I'm talking about, that's what I'm talking about. And he just that's his day. He just loves playing so much. And I'm like, oh, I'll let the man play. <laughs> like seriously, you only have to search for Pokemon Go man, and he will come up. He's uh, yeah. from Taiwan, and I was going to pull up an image here uh, to show you because he upgraded originally. He had like nine phones. And he keeps upgrading. Uh, yeah. Let me find one of the m- more recent ones that has. He like, went from nine to twenty-four, and then he went, a lot. went to like thirty-six. Oh, there's a good one. It, yeah, I don't see how he doesn't run into a bus with all these things in front of his face. And I understand, like that's a violation of Pokemon Go, technically, I guess. But also, too, it doesn't do, or maybe I don't understand Pokemon Go enough to understand. But it doesn't do as that's much weird. damage to Pokemon Go gaming as it would if he was an Ingress player. Yeah. You know, like, as an English player, he would be unstoppable, and it would just destroy whatever locale he was in. Well, uh, so it would be a game-altering experience, and then, you know, that's unfair gameplay. And- yeah. I, I wonder if it's kind of like IITC. That's one of those things that, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, it's kind of an unwritten rule. You shouldn't do it, but some people do, and maybe maybe that was the 8,000 people that got banned, or IITC. Oh, I bet there'd be a lot more people banned. I bet there would be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how many people do you think that would be, Goonie? Oh my gosh, if they I, stand I mean, for line. that, that. But well, man, <laughs> if if that got picked up by the auto ban, because it's technically that's third party software. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, they know to scan and then look at the number and go, "Oh, that's everybody." <laughs> <laughs> well, right. we just killed our base. Yeah. Yeah. There's like I, literally right. five people left. <laughs> And you would be one of them. I'm the only one. Where'd everybody go? And I think it's hard because they they won't make a ruling on it. And they even say, well, you don't want us to make a ruling on it. And to me, it's like, well, you can't really ban anyone now. If you you won't step out and make the rule. I think the only thing they could do is is purchase it outright, make it Niantic, 
and then you'd be okay with it because otherwise they're sanctioning a third party software and then and everybody else that, is gonna be yeah everybody else slow. is like well you can do me you can do me and yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah no i think they should either buy it or recreate it hire the program something just because i think that one of the biggest issues is that you can add plugins to it so you can even develop your own plugins to it yeah. that you don't release out to everyone else and they've gone in and not banned but they've basically stopped some of the plugins that were a little more on the edge of what really they should be doing with it yeah there's still some that are to me, kind of borderline, like the one that will show players for the past three hours their movement. Player tracker. Oh, I don't like that. I think that's a little overboard. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I mean, it's cool, like when you see like your team and friends out, and you'd be like, "Oh, let's go say hi," but still, mm, it's borderline. Yeah. But it's things like that. Like if they took control of it, they could say, "These are the things that we think are yeah. okay, and this is what what's open." These, these are the official ones, and these yeah. are not officials that that won't work anymore. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to change the code of it a little bit so that nobody could write their own. But yeah, then you just take control and be done with it. Well, yeah, and I think it comes down to a little bit of it's kind of like when Napster was out and then iTunes came out and started selling songs for ninety nine cents. Well, it was like, well, I'll buy a song for ninety nine cents. Like the hassle of going and downloading it for free is now trumped by it's a good price. And I think if yeah. you have the software out there that does what you need. That like you're not oh well, I like that one other feature no it's too much of a pain in the butt to do so especially I'll, when you might get banned for right right yeah. so yeah. it's like that's all you got to do just just give us what we want <laughs> call Andrew have him take care of it he's on vacation <laughs> <laughs> he picked a good week <laughs> boy you leave and just everything goes to heck in a handcart you know I bet it was more like when's this going out. I'm going to go on vacation. (laughs) No, I've had this planned for a long time. (laughs) I I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one that flipped the trigger on the way out the door. (laughs) Oh, yeah, go ahead with that. See ya. See ya, I'm out. Uh, Y'all have a fun week. Someone check my email. (laughs) (laughs) And probably my telegram. (laughs) Well, speaking of checking emails... I think that's all the news, isn't it? I think I, so. I always I miss mean, something when we skip around. We, yeah, I mean, there's always other little stuff we kind of skip over, but I think we covered. I think we, I think we hit it all. Okay. If we miss something, it's all Dewey J's fault. Ban him again. I'll take it. Hit me with the ban hammer. <laughs> but I'm not going to forget the code this week. Yes. yes. And I've already tested it, so I know it works. So no it's way. A A. Heatwave AA. And Agent Gunaga, where can they redeem that code? At agentacademypodcast.com. And, and what do they get for that code? They get a badge, a cool badge on their profile if they're logged in to the site that is this episode um, icon, image, thing. <laughs> and then when they get like multiple episodes, eventually they get another one that's like for having 10 and then having 50 and then like having a thousand something ridiculous so they could go back and listen to previous podcasts. oh yes Man, y'all are good listen at this. to our whole collection <laughs> well <laughs> you must... collection. <laughs> but the badge has only started at episode 20 <laughs> uh, okay. but we can go back so i've worked something out with the software which now uh, so I was having to recreate a form and the image and everything every week, and it was it's it's kind of a process. Well, now I've worked it into where I can use the same form every week, which means I don't have to make a new form and put a new form everywhere. So once I get everything fixed up, we're going to have one form that all the codes will go into just that one form. So then we can do some cool Fork stuff. To rule hey. them all. No, but nobody cares about this stuff. <laughs> just, they just, just make it work. There... <laughs> JBJ Blaze cares about this stuff. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, you guys get together later he's, and talk. He's probably about already that. put the code in. <laughs> anyway, it works. Uh, that's awesome. And when, to be clear, when we talk about getting a badge on your profile, we are not talking about your in game oh, yeah. character sheet. <laughs> we're talking about, like, we're not talking about your scanner badges. We are talking about your badge profile that you can only get if you sign up at agentacademypodcast.com yep. by, the, by the way JBJ Blaze said it works 
I know, he's trying to tell me it didn't for a second there. Such a meanie. He's so mean! He probably spelled it wrong. Sorry ah! We got the website, and there's the last episode. There's some I news that we haven't been updating. There's some awesome merch that Agent Swag. Jelly Belly made. I made cool stuff. Uh, there's some passcodes, so if you're looking for gear... I was thinking I was going to need those last week. <laughs> this stuff won't get you banned. I uh, would like to say, for the record, I did make a Smurf Tears mug, and I own the only one because the site that we use for merch locked it down for <laughs> copyright. So you can't say Smurf on gear, so... You can, you can the, spell it S-M-U-U-R-R-R-F. Then why have it, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's, so, that's true. Yeah, but a collector's item yeah because i got like a what do you call it like a sample sent yeah. to me and like but and then i went to see it on the thing and it was like oh this is rejected <laughs> i'm like oh i have the only one <laughs> they sell it on ebay for millions yeah advertise it in comms well it was worth more when there were more players to bid on it <laughs> there's eight thousand people that can't buy it now <laughs> They're like, screw that. <laughs> and we'll start giving out free gear that uh, the Dewey J is going to give us to yeah, give with every to drop. And just drop it right at your door. It, it'll be black, but don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. You can get Agent Academy Prime. We'll get it to you yeah. in two days or less. He give me, give does me, travel. Yeah, give me your coordinates. It'll show up on your door. Coordinates. <laughs> I mean, he You're will drive there. <laughs> I'm not even going to you know, I'm not going to drive. <laughs> That's silly. There's these awesome bots. They do it for you. <laughs> well, now that all of our accounts are going to get banned. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. it. If, if I get banned tomorrow morning, it's like, I'm not going to do this show again. I've, I've never be been banned, so I don't know, pal. <laughs> now watch tomorrow. I'll be like, oh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I honestly oh. thought there's there was a couple of frogs in our area that, I mean, they were... We were yeah, banging heads, and yeah. I know that he reported me once or twice for you know stupid things like, well, he was in a cemetery after dusk, and I'm like, no, I was. I'm gonna. Was, I have I unpopular that. opinion. I'll tell you an unpopular opinion. I understand the reasons and all that, but I don't report people for being in areas when they're not supposed to and all that because I feel like that's between them and that location. Yeah, that is their personal private life, and I feel like it's just. Not my place. But I understand people are saying, like, well, we need to keep the game safe for the community, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that they have that altruistic goal, though, really. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, right. I, think, I think it's good to you give them crap about it and you just, you know, keep riding them about it and stuff like that. But, you know. Yeah. Let them know people are watching. Yeah. yeah. But to report them to the NIA. Uh, no. Uh, Not cool. You know, unless it's something they're doing every day and taking out mega fields. Yeah. I feel like the property owner if it's not okay that they will handle yeah. it yeah i mean if, if it's my now don't get me wrong if it's my property <laughs> that's a different story now i'm gonna handle it <laughs> legally <Yeah. laughs> get out the hammer and not the band hammer the big go be like hi there's some strange people i don't know who they are i don't know what ingress is. <laughs> what's going on yeah Hey, hey, yeah, if you go into some place and take down an anchor in a hard-to-get place that's closed after dark. Not uh, cool. You're, it's not you're cool. cheating. And you, you are cheating. And you probably will um, get some people throwing ban reports at you. Yeah. Um, and, and if but, if you, somebody on your team is doing that, give them crap. Tell them not yeah. to, yeah. Especially, because that means more. Don't sanction, yeah, that yeah. those activities just because they're on your team. Because that just leads people yeah. to do it more, and you're gonna get your your teammates eventually are going to get banned for doing that. Right. So <laughs> you help them out and tell them now that it's not cool and they need to stop. Yeah, and it starts with your faction. Yeah. Yep. Always. Like as much right. as you want to get pissed at the other faction for yeah. stuff you think they're doing, or know they're doing either one, your your faction's doing it too somewhere. So, yeah. you know. And the red faction. Don't forget about the red faction. They're hey. immune to everything. You and you guys wearing red. See, that, red I was so right worried there. they were actually going to do a red faction. Then you'd have to make that choice in recursion time. Be a tough one. That is my favorite. Oh, wouldn't that suck if you go to recursion? It's like, oh, your only choice is red. Yeah. Uh, what's going on here? But anyway. Auto flips everyone who recursed. Oh. 
Like, oh, you didn't realize. It's We're just for a year, over. though. It's just, just for a year, your gameplay life. Can I trade in all my green stuff? Or blue somewhere? That's that's <laughs> what uh, people should do on each faction is have like a, a warehouse where they're like, uh, we'll trade in, like, bring us your, your resistance gear and we'll give you enlightened gear. Like to, a mom to mom swap? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like when they do it, like like when you get a new phone and like Sprint's like, hey, no, 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 bring your phone over to us. We'll trade you straight up for the same phone. You could do it at mission days because both factions are there. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> could bring their junk. <laughs> it's kind of like that the way they trade in the guns. You know, we want to get rid of all the guns. Bring in your guns. We'll give you, you know, bubble gum or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's the show. All right, good show. Good Another job. Another good one. Thanks for everybody showing up, being here, That's watching it live in the do what? I was talking to people in the live stream. I know, I know. No, so I was talking know, about some, you. Someday I think we ought to do this thing that's called what's in the capsule. What's in the? Well, hey, we sometime. Did well, not, either not we need to do a longer show or not talk about news. <laughs> See, used to there wasn't as much news. Like that's they weren't true. doing as much there, stuff. I, all suddenly there's it's like a lot of stuff going on now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There always is. Good. Every week. Like, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It's Niantic's fault. Damn it. Yeah. And maybe if we got better what's in the capsule ideas, we would want to talk about it. Oh. I'm not call anyone out there. Yeah. But before. The six, you know, of, mine, the six of mine that are sitting there waiting. Yeah. Dewey, Dewey J, I'll give you a little tip. You know, okay. in the beginning of the show, when we say, how's your week? You add it and say, oh, this week, I had this idea. <laughs> and you just go with it then. I had this idea for the game. Yeah. And then he can't report. cut it. Yeah, and then he can't cut it from anything. Because it's part of the beginning of the show. Uh, oh, learning from the master. Oh, I, I can cut it. <laughs> I can cut it. Just like, just like that. <laughs> Listen to him. I can so, cut it. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you all fans. next week. <laughs> Those live people will see it. Oh, that's the wrong one. I need to fix. Oh no, there's oh. another. There we go. Ah. Okay, with that, thanks everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Good night.